Hey, hey, VC Jeff here again. Uh, let's go through uh, another segment of the CD collection that I started a couple videos ago. This is actually the third video, but we're still in the A's. Um, and again, as a reminder, what I explained in the first one, uh, which has kind of the background behind it, uh, my CDs have been in a room where they were less accessible. Now they're more accessible. So I figured let's go through them. Let's pull them out, maybe listen to some of them um, on the big stereo rather than the history for the past probably 10 years of just ripping them to the computer and listening to them through the computer speakers uh, i've been enjoying more of them on the actual stereo system where the you know the vinyl record player and all that is and they sound a lot better sound a lot better uh on the bigger system so been pulling them out going through them figure i'd go ahead and catalog them here for you all in these videos and uh yes this is the third segment of a and this will be the completion of the a's a's are done um so anyway, let's get right into it. We ended last time right before this, and now we're up into Anthrax. So I'm not going to explain all of these. Of course, most people know what all these are. But you can see this one's still in the shrink wrap because um, I bought, you'll see, almost all of them are in the shrink wrap. Uh, and I looked back, and it was around 2015. Amazon was selling all of the Anthrax CDs for $2.99, $3.99, $4.99, depending on which ones they were. So I scooped almost all of them up the ones I didn't have in my collection but I didn't open them because as soon as you buy them from Amazon you get the auto zip you know auto rip uh, that comes down with the digital tracks which is really all I do put them on my computer and listen to them so at that time I was not in the process wasn't in the uh, habit of listening to them in the car and I wasn't in the habit of listening to them on the stereo because I didn't have the stereo out at that point so having them on my computer was fine so I need to rip these open give them a spin on the real record player there um, this one I don't think but part of that deal because it's a totally different thing this is we've come for you all plus the greater of two evils it's a uh, little box set has both CDs in here and they're in a little slip card album cover looking things kind of a neat set I recall buying this for a real good price considering it was uh, two albums worth so um, that was kind of cool this one I bought used at some point. You can tell it's Sound of White Noise. It's got the. I know exactly what store this comes from. They no longer sell CDs. And then we're into the ones where I picked them up on the Amazon and they're still unopened. Uh, Among the Living. I'm going to throw that one right at you. Got Among the Living. Wow, I got some glare big time. Among the Living. Is this supposed to be sideways like that? <laughs> Spreading the disease. Uh, this one was not one of those Attack of the Killer Bees. I believe I still got this on Amazon, but I either I opened it or it was not one of those sales that I got that was sealed. State of Euphoria. Again, shrink wrapped. Persistence of Time. Still shrink wrapped. And that's all of the Anthrax. All right, moving on. Arcade A2. This is Stephen Piercy's post rat band. Uh, pretty good stuff. Obviously, I bought that used. There's a used sticker on there. Um, yeah, great stuff. Uh, you know, had uh, what the drummer from Cinderella on here. It was good. It was kind of like a more modernized, uh, modern music rat feel. Uh, still kind of melodic y, metal y, but also kind of a little alternative feeling. Um, this was their first album. I dig them. I think they're great. I'd love to see these on vinyl one day. All right, then we're moving into Armored Saint. Not to the old school. This is a cool compilation of uh, stuff and demos and some other things at the time. Revelation. And then we got the box set of Symbol of Salvation, which is the, uh, the Metal Blade series that had uh, the whole album plus some bonus tracks, plus some interviews, demos, things along that line. It's in a uh, two CD case. That was the second CD there. I'm a big Armored Saint fan, so I prefer John Bush with Armored Saint over his work with Anthrax. Easy fear. This is like a boot, like I guess I got on eBay at some point. It's a live concert. Sounds really good. For a live concert from 1984 which is the year that I really enjoy first album year great stuff that's a rock candy reissue and this is uh, probably an unofficial release of the first album it's got uh, 
five tracks on here, but it's also got Sirak Ungol One Foot in Hell on the back side. So it's one of those double, and I think I have another one, these Reborn Classics. I have another one uh, from that series, which is, I guess we'll get to it, Driver and Profit on this back-to-back. -back. So anyway, Ascension Theory. I think I ran into these guys probably back in the day on MySpace, kind of a prog, uh, definitely progish feeling. Um, not exactly sure. I do remember talking to them on face on MySpace and stuff. I don't think it was Facebook days. This would have been MySpace. But they had two albums at the time. Yeah, that's great stuff. All right. And now we move into Autograph. Yet another one that is still in the shrink again. I must have bought it for sale on Amazon. The only Avenged Sevenfold I own on CD, aside from the Best Of album that I got from Aaron on vinyl uh, as a contest winning, but this was the only album I bought. Can anybody guess why? You? You? You in the back? You in the back? Yeah. It's because Mike Portnoy played on it. Yeah. I bought it because of Mike Portnoy, not because I was an Avenged Sevenfold fan. I don't not like them. I know they're real close to a modern, uh, a modern version of a classic metal band, and so I do enjoy their stuff. I just never bought any of their stuff, and I'm not opposed to that. If I run into it for sale, I'll buy it. But I bought this specifically because of Portnoy's involvement. Avion, uh, the reason I bought this is because Lance King, vocalist that I really like. He's done, he does a lot of work. He's kind of a singer for hire. He does a lot of work for a lot of different bands. This was one of them. And because of his involvement, uh, I, I got this. Very, very melodic, powerful singer. I love his stuff. Love his voice. And this is just one of those bands that just it just comes alive with his, uh, with his work. Balance of Power, another band that is really good by him and this is a second album he's also done some stuff with Pyramaze which is really good and they've got some other singers and they're all just good traditional metal type band all right Arion I bought a lot of the stuff by Arion back in the day um, haven't kept up with it I got a lot of the stuff now digitally but didn't buy a lot of it and I uh, have yet to get any on vinyl very uh, rock opera symphonic power metal lots and lots of guest singers usually uh, James Labrie from Dream Theater you know has done some stuff with them which I always like to scoop up this is one of the early ones where they actually reissued it as a revisited album so it's a CD and a DVD um, I enjoy the stuff this is the, one of the early days uh, this kind of goes along with it same guy but this is star one again lots of different Musicians, lots of different singers, a rock opera that plays onto all kinds of star. Uh, it has Star Wars type thing. It has all kinds of homage. Play. He pays homage to a lot of various um, science fiction -y type movies. Um, if I recall, I remember the s stories that deal with um, you, know, you got Sand Rider and stuff. You know, we got Dune in here. We got Star Wars. We got all of that kind of stuff. Um, just really cool and there's a I believe there's a live concert version of them performing the whole rock opera this is one there's a single day 11 love this is a, a single from this particular album which I know oh I have the box set of this album somewhere that's why it's not with my regular CDs I'm not sure where I've got that but it's an extended it's in a book one of those book sets anyway this was a single that came out from it's got some uh, extra bonus tracks on here and it's yeah so Dream, J James Labrie, uh, you know, you got all kinds of different people on here. But that was just a single I picked up back in the day. Now i got to track down where I put my box set at for that. It's just one of those little ones. Into the Electric Circus. Here we on. This is a two-disc set. I want to say at one point they were released as single discs, and I picked up the when they put them together, but I may be wrong. It's been a while since I recall. Oh, these were the ones that were like that, I think. This is Flight of the Migrator. And I do believe that, I know I sold some of these off back in the day because I was trying to thin out my CD herd, uh, just have too many, and so, but then I got that one left. Then we got some Aztec Jade. Now this is uh, some of the guys from that Ascension Theory band that I just showed. So I bought these at the same time. So before they did this, they did this. And so when I hooked up with them, I bought some of that, and they did a couple albums. Again, kind of... Uh, sort of progressive-y feeling, 
commercial. And then here we are in the last of the A's. We've got uh, the Avantasia stuff. This is the first two Avantasia. Mainly bought this because Rob Rock's involvement, but you know, it went on to have all kinds of musicians, all kinds of famous people, collaboration with all kinds. Um, he's done quite a few other albums uh, that are just straightforward. I'm not sure if they have as many guests, but in the early days it had a lot of guest musicians. And so it is a who's who, uh, power metal, commercial metal, just so many different people involved. Anyway, so that's it. That is done with the A's. I won't jump into the B's even though that was a short amount. I want to make this one shorter anyway, try to keep them all short. That was the A's. We'll move into the B's next time. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Rock on. Rock hard.